Hello and welcome back to Panther of the Geeks. You join us today for another Crisis Protocol Miniatures Game Unboxing. Today we're doing the New York City apartment building. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another train park, so I'm thinking it's going to be about a similar size to this item. <laughs> uh, it's about a similar size box anyway. Mm. So we can build this in two ways apparently. Oh, okay. Um, it comes with a set of like a big building and thing to go on the side. Fire escape. Fire escape. Thing to go on the roof. Water tower. A uh, thing to go on the roof as well. A generator. It's a door. It could be into a generator. And a skylight. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently we can build this is either Josie's Bar. Okay. Or Nelson and Murdoch. Oh, cool. I don't know which to go for. Mm. But we'll have to uh, open this up and find out, I think. So... What's that about? Uh, right. So we have ourselves a little booklet. Which, uh, I'll show some of the options. Uh. Alright, here we go. So we've got the water tower assembly, skylight assembly. Rooftop access, billboards, fire escape, and a fire hydrant. I mean, a fire hydrant. Oh, wow, cool! With two fire hydrants now sitting here. And then we're onto the walls and such. Right. Oh, wow. Lots of sprues again. Yeah. Um, luckily, most of these appear to have stayed on the screen. I was going to say, yeah, where were the pigeons? We found the pigeons. Brilliant. I think that's the underside of the roof. I would say so. The big five on it. Windows. Oh, the windows are... More windows. Okay. Um, more windows. I would say that might be for fire escape, perhaps. I'm not sure. Wow. Everything's on the sprues, isn't it? At least. Unlike the Sanctum. Yeah, so at least we've got more of an idea on how to cut this one. Yeah, at least we know what's what. Yeah. We're not guessing for asking her beforehand. Right, brilliant. So, uh, we'll start with the, uh, is it the water tower or whichever one came first? We'll get the sprues ready and have a look. Okay, so we're starting with the water tower. So we have B11, B12, B13 and B14 make up the square so uh, yeah there's like a little slidey bit that goes in isn't there like that. So it's not one thing to go in. So we need to glue this together and glue that together. And then put them into a square, which might be the easiest thing to do to keep them all together. together. Yep. So we're back in a second. So that gives us this cube sort of shape. Next up we have the two pieces of the water tower, which is three and two, B3 and two. Those two bits just go together. Uh, 
and then we have nine little holes in there. That's eight, can't count. Uh, which match up with the holes on this. So this will go onto that. So let me glue that on. So that has gone onto that. And then we have the topper, which just has four little bits which go on. And then we have the bottom part, which should just fit on with the four posts and the centre part of the wall. So I'm just going to stick that on and then come back when it's dry. So that is the finished water tower. Snazzy. Next we have the skylight, which is just two parts, uh, which is uh, C42 and C56. And those two are just literally clipped together, which I'll glue on. And the same with the rooftop assembly access, which is D52 and A40. And again, those just have clips and responding holes, which just push it into. So I'll put those two together and we can look at them and we can move on to the billboard. Okay, so one rooftop access and one skylight. Now we'll work on the billboard, which consists of these four parts, which is D48, 49, 15, 15. We have the big billboard section, which is C47. And we have the stand for it, which is D45. Now in theory, all these should slot into that. And then the billboard has these little sections, or cutouts. And they should fit into there, I would have thought. Yep, like that. So, it is just a case of putting the four of these onto here, like that, putting them on, and then sticking them into this, and we got a billboard. Cool. Let's do that. There we have a billboard, which I imagine sits on the edge of the roof. Um, doesn't really stand up on its own, but I could always like blue tack it to make it stand up like at the side of a road or something, which would be cool. Peter doesn't stand up on his own, but um, it looks like it attaches onto the side. So, you need to find something interesting to put on a billboard. Um, I'd print something out to be quite honest, oh, well, like yeah. um, paper and then just stick it on. If it rips, it, it looks more authentic. Yeah, yeah, just spray it and then. Uh, yeah. Put it on, then maybe stick it all over the top of it so it looks like one's peeling off and the yeah. one's. Yeah. There's a lot of things you could do with that. Isn't it? But there we go, that's the billboard. Very straightforward. We have fire hydrants, two of them. So B17, uh, two B15s, and two tops. Two tops of the B17s. And then A32 is the centre part, and then B15 is the bottom part. So this goes to the exactly the same way as the fire hydrant from the Sanctum kit. That's the one from the Sanctum kit. Looks identical. So I'll just go ahead and stick these two together and we're back to do the fire escape assembly. Okay, so two more little fire hydrants. Cool. For Magneto to throw around. <laughs> Everything's for Magneto, isn't it? It's all about him. <clears throat> no. Yeah. So the fire escape, we have A39, and we have these two little bits, A28 and A29, so they'll fit into the Ladder, which is a is 34. 
There should be two little grooves in there for yeah, the tea. Just notice them. So they what do they attach onto? Do they attach onto the back? They attach onto that. Yeah, they go on like that, don't they? Where's it going? I've lost my groove. Where is it? Then we have this bit. Which is A37. And this goes. This and is the handrail. The, yeah, that's the handrail at the front. So that goes along there, does it? Yeah. Okay. Seems a bit flimsy for a handrail. It does actually. I thought that it's uh, funny plastic, it's like bendy. It's a health and safety nightmare, that. Yeah, the <laughs> And we have uh, uh, B5, which is at the back of the um, ladder. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to fit on the Yeah. Way. And then B4 is at the other side. I think there's a little, uh, little module on the top of that banister thing. It fits into. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's only very thin. Oh. Put a wee bit of glue on it. Mm. There'll be one on the back as well. Yeah, there is. Because it makes that flimsy bit of plastic stronger, though. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's got, look, see? It's got the tiniest imaginable <laughs> connector. Ping on it. Yeah, you'd be really safe on that. Yeah, because you would be right. Not. Could survive anything. <laughs> right behind it. Could survive Hulk attack. Could survive Domino. Not Magneto, though. Magneto will just tear it up and a little bit. Because there's something else that Magneto to throw around. And you wouldn't survive Domino on that. <laughs> He just lobbies fireballs up at you. No, but it's a fire escape. Rumpf. Yeah, but it's a fire escape. So yeah, and it, 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 you throw a fireball at you and you've got the fire escape card to play. <laughs> so his fire won't work, and it, it not that how it works? No. Oh. <laughs> no. He'd probably be waiting at the bottom of the fire escape for you. <laughs> right, okay, so there's a fire escape. So, back wall. Option one. What the heck? Front wall option one. So front wall option two. So these are the different options that we have to make it between Josie's bar and um, Matt Murdock and Matt Murdock and uh, Is it Foggy Nelson. Honestly, Nelson and Murdock in it. Yeah. Or Murdock and Nelson. What do we think? You see, it'd be good to do the uh, Murdoch on Nelson if we're going to get Daredevil. Mm -hmm. I'm you not... like creeping in the back way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not really Daredevil. Hmm. Right. <laughs> we can have a think about. You have a think. Have a think. Uh, we'll be back in a moment with the parts. Okay. So we've got to think, and we're going to build the law firm. <laughs> it's Daredevil orientated, and you know, I think it it looked like a standard building. I think the uh, the pub does look like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I but, mean uh, that's Daredevil related as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. We found out last night, but um, we looked it up. But I think we're going to go with the um, Murdoch and Nelson. I think yeah. I don't think there'll be any way to switch them around afterwards. To be honest, um, not easily anyway. So we're just going to go with that. So we're going to need uh, this side of the front, which uh, I believe that's the right way around there. And we're going to need um, these parts. We're going to need C41, uh, F75, and F76. We're also going to need D55, 
A20 and C46 to build this section. Uh, for the back wall, we have either the big delivery doors, which I think really suits the the bar more. Yeah. Or we have the plain wall. So I'm going to go for this. So for that, we don't actually need anything else. Um, so we're going to get the parts for this, and then we're back. Okay, so we have our window frames, which is a 75, 76. They're going to fit into the. We have this uh, part here, which fits along the bottom. That needs to be glued on to the. So that'll be step one, once they're glued in. And then step two is D55, which goes up to the top of the door. And then we have the steps, which will fit over that part. And then we have the uh, Nelson and Murdoch sign, which uh, goes on this side of the door. Which will go by the, by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It's sort of like yeah. topping it there, so. So, a bit nearer the edge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll stick all this on I'm back in a second. Okay. So, we have the front finished. And now we're going to attach that on to the widest end of the, uh, the base. And that goes on using a series of clips and lines. And that will just be glued into there and pushed down. Now it'll be the same with the back. We're going to be doing that with the interior, so we're going to miss that bit out on this one. Um, and then we need the sides. So for the sides, we do actually have some options as well, which is these two. Uh, we have doors facing out, and then blank walls. Might do a door on one side and a blank wall on the other. Um, probably have a door on this side. And then blank, um, blank wall on the other side. Yeah. Uh, you can choose whatever you want to do, basically, with this. It, uh, there's, there's no rules. <laughs> it's, you're free, completely free to do it. Uh, so we'll get these off, and then we'll slot them in, and then we'll come back once they're glued in place. Okay, so we have our fancy brainstorm box. Uh, and now we will need to add the next level on, which is these little bits. So that's uh, G79, 78, and then an E57 and E58. And these are the next bit. Trying to figure out if they go one way or another. It's uh, hard to tell. But they all fit on like that. I think. Uh, nope. No. No, maybe. Oh. Yeah, it'll yeah. go either way. Cool. It'll go either way. So you can't really get them back to front at all. Um, there are little clips in the end of these. It'll s yeah, there we go. That's the That'll be the top part. Because there's a little clip in there that doesn't go all the way through. That that's going to have to go into and that. will have to go that way around, which means that can only go on that side. So there's only one way this will go on correctly. Okay. So you have to have these clips facing up because they're blank at the bottom. And then you have to have these bits like that fitting into the level and all the brickwork being on the outside. So we're going to go and fit this on around the top of this. This is what's going to keep it together a bit better as well because at the moment it's wanting to fall apart a little bit at the top. Let's keep it together and then we can stick on the next floor. Okay, so we've got our next bit on holding this in place quite well actually. I'm impressed by that. Um, next up we have part 94, which is this wall with F63 and then 64, 65. All windows like the first ones that we put on, so they need to be glued into place. Uh, next bit shows the back part going on, but it doesn't actually tell you which number it is, so I can only assume. It's 95 because it was on the same sprue as this. And at the other three windows, 
Claire mentioned. I'm thinking it'll be 66, 67 and 68. Are the ones that go into the slots of the back. So we're going to go with that, stick it together and add the front and back onto the top. So these will just slot into the next level coming up. And then the sides are L91 and L90. So we're going to get those out as well and we're going to have a look at those because they're double sided and they have windows on one side and then gaps windows on the other. And I'm thinking since we're doing this one, not the one in the book, we'll switch them around. Okay. So it looks more like an apartment at the top. Yeah. Yep. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so with those two on, you can see they do have this other pattern on the inside, which matches these ones. So you could have this all the way around the second floor, uh, but the top floor also looks like this. So I don't know whether we should put on these ones, which are blank, but to me it looks like an apartment building if we had that on. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking of going this way around. Okay. On the sides. Yeah. So we do have slightly different windows on the front and back, but it's just a style of that building. Sure. Yeah. Yep. We do. I think we're in agreement. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we will slot these into place as well. Is this the one that goes at this side? Oh, uh, that's L90, so. So it does fit, so that will go nicely. Okay. So we'll put it in there and we'll put the one on the other side. Uh, and then we can move on to the next layer, which is adding on G80, G81, E59, and E60. Now it's exactly the same as this layer, where we put that's just underneath this, which will hold this second layer together. So it's another set of these. So we'll go ahead and put those on before we come back as well. And then we'll see you in a moment. Okay, so now we've got that on, we can see the front, we have these two sets of windows. You could easily have switched these around to have the same pattern all the way around. You can tie that to yourself when you're putting this together how you want it. We've gone with that for the front and back just to make it look a bit different. Um, and we're going to put the escape, fire escape on this side mm -hmm. where this door is as well. That way, uh, if you want to make an alleyway, it can be on this side. And you know, you can have an alleyway on this side, it doesn't matter, but if you want to put a building flush up to this as well, you can do that though. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, but we have the next layer to put on, which is another set of walls, which consist of these two unnamed walls. I would assume that it's 096 and 097. Oh. Oh. And these ones actually have the reverse size as well, so you can put even more of these windows on. So you can have these windows all the way up if you wanted. Um, I believe those ones have the blanks as well. So you could did, almost yeah. build like a warehousey style one, or mm -hmm. one just has like one massive apartment in. Um, so uh, we're going to use this side for the top floor all the way around. So we're going to add those on, exactly the same as the previous two, so I don't need to show you. And then we'll come to the roof, so we'll see you in a moment for the roof. Okay, so we're at the roof stage. So the roof is here, it's this big piece. This bit that is, that is the front, and that bit goes facing up. So we we'll need to put that on now, and again we'll just sit on the top. Uh, we'll need to glue it all the way around. So we'll put that on, come back. Okay, so with that bit on there, we now have the side piece to put on. There's one little cliff at the side, and that should match up with this part of the front, so you know which way around these go. So that one on that side, the other one go on the other side. Then we have the back piece, which is this bit. And then we have the front piece, which is this fancy bit. And that will slide on to those uh, bits at the front there. There's actual little bits there that will go on. So that will stick onto that. So go ahead and stick those bits on and then we'll come back with a finished building. And there we have a finished building. Done. Um, just to slide it forward a bit. You can see the Billboard. Big billboard goes on one of the edges, it fits on all three, whichever way around you want. It just doesn't fit on the front, which is fine. So that's the billboard. You also have the, that's quite sliding. Once it's painted, it won't be as sliding. Oh, there's no friction there, see? <laughs> that was flying off. Right, let's get that back. Uh, 
and then we have that as well. That's how slide it is. Yeah. Yeah, water tower is back <laughs> after finding it. So that's the water tower. And then we have um, the fire escape stuck on the side though. The box also gives you six of these little air conditioning units. So I've stuck them around the building. And a couple of these like power terminals, whatever they're meant to be. Not sure, I've put a small one by that door. And um, put another one on the back. You can put them anywhere you want. Put another uh, air conditioning, it's got one of the pigeons on. Yep. Um, we've got one of the pigeons on the fire escape. And the other pigeon just above the door lintel, just, you know, <laughs> just ready to take a poo on somebody <laughs> who comes out. <laughs> Then we have the other fire, uh, sorry, not fire, the other air conditioners there. It's on random windows. They fit into these window sockets. They don't fit as well. And you could put them on these, you could glue them into the room out, but they don't fit as well into these as they do into these. So just bear that in mind, we should build in an apartment and you want to put these on as opposed to building these all blank, you wouldn't then put the air conditioners on. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of little options you can do to make a unique building. Really? That's really cool. Because if this didn't have the sign on, this could be any building. This could just be an apartment building. Mm -hmm. This just happens to be the uh, Nelson and Murdoch office. Yeah. So you just don't put the sign on if you don't want to. And then the other one makes the bar. So I'm really tempted to get like I really enjoyed putting this together, actually. It was quite good, actually, especially given the fact that it's got different wall yeah. sides that you can I like the customise. Uh, they're not cheap kits. So they are, by any means. They look great. Um, obviously I've got TT Combat MDF versions, a lot cheaper, but don't look as good, I'm afraid, mm. um, as this, and obviously it's not, MDF has different strengths and weaknesses to plastic, mm -hmm. this is a solid plastic, the top, is, I won't put anything heavy on the top though, No. that's quite flimsy. Yeah. One thing I did notice on some of the windows, some are quite thick plastic and some yeah. are very thin so you can shine a light through them and you get yeah. that, um, you can see the light through them but yeah. I suppose you're not going to notice that when it's painted. Yeah, um, and ultimately if anyone wanted to cut the windows out, you know, to put uh, in you in order do. to light it up, if yeah. you wanted really fancy, you know, with it being a thinner plastic you've got that option. These are obviously separate pieces. Mm -hmm. But that would make it easier to cut out the middle bit. Then you have to cut the wall out behind it, which isn't a problem because it attaches on the top and the bottom. So you could even do that. So there's a lot of customization. You could take this mm -hmm. very far, but you could yeah. do that with you could do that with an MDF building. I like the fact that um, it's it's sturdy as well. So these bits that you put on here, yes, these are hold it together, idea. which is really because until you, as soon as you put these on, it really strengthens it. Yeah, and I'd say this is a stronger kit than the Sanctum. To be honest, for that I reason. agree actually, for that reason. The Sanctum went together fine, but if it had had these separate sort of like connectors on, yeah. it would have held it together better. Yes. Um, Fully agree with that. But this is a smaller kit than the Sanctum as well. Let's, let's put that <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. And they're both good kits. Mm -hmm. uh, I can recommend them both. Um, if they're worth the cost, that's entirely up to you guys. Uh, like anything else in uh, Crisis Protocol, it's not a cheap game to get into by any means. No. Um, so the cost is whether it's worth it, but you know it's it's a nice building. I'm going to enjoy paying it. Um, to do an entire s cityscape out in this would be very expensive. Yeah, you'd, so have to, you'd have to do it over time. I'd have to do it over time. Um, but then for us, I mean, it's probably easier to get hold of them in America. But for us getting hold of them, you got to wait for them stock to arrive. And, yeah. Um, so it's sometimes a little bit. Uh, Hit and miss. Hit and miss. Yeah. All FFG stuff is. Uh, the change to Atomic Mass Games hasn't changed that. <laughs> but stuff does come through. So yeah. uh, I am very tempted to get another one to make the bar. Okay. But that'll be it. Yeah. I think. Because, <laughs> um, you know, having the whole city done it in this would look amazing, but it wouldn't be cheap. Like, so. If someone is wanting to do an entire city, I would definitely recommend an MDF like Sarissa or TT Combat yeah. for those. Um, just because of volume, yeah. basically. Um, but these are great buildings mm -hmm. and very characterful. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing. Should be good if we can get back into it. It'd be really good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would fully intend to. <laughs> yeah. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, the next video, uh, we're going back to some models again. Uh, we have. 
Vision and Vision, um, and Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier and Box. Black Panther and Killmonger. So it'll be one of those two videos and then the other one. Um, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, please like and subscribe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and take care for now. See you soon. Bye. Bye.